Hi, today I want to talk about how to make scrambled eggs. I don't use dairy and I don't use butter really. So what I mainly do is uh, I just basically take a take a griddle like I have here and take some eggs and I'll show you the way I make my uh, scrambled eggs. So first off you just kind of break it, break the egg and then See the eggs going in there, and then uh, you try to do this as quickly as possible. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna do. I'm kind of hungry today, and, and that way I can also not have to eat make this again. I'll probably do six eggs. Just kind of make up, make a lot of it. Get off all the uh, good stuff from the egg in there. And if it kind of gravity kind of pulls it down a little bit, so I kind of like pull it out to the side. If it does that, okay, and we're almost done. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna scramble them actually on the griddle itself. And I know a lot of people actually put this in a pot or a pan or something that they, they drop their egg mix in there. And I, that's probably a better way of doing it, but um, this is the way I do it. So once I have that there, now I kind of scramble it up basically. And it doesn't take very long for an egg to, to, to cook. Get all this, I don't know what you call the clear stuff out of the way, and it turns to, to white and the oak in there. And you mix out the oak yolk a little bit to make it a little bit more even. I don't, to me, it doesn't matter if I eat a bunch of white or a bunch of yolk at all at one time, but some people are kind of that way. And this is basically the way I do it kind of just mix it around like this. It doesn't take too long to do this, and this is kind of a fast, uh, fast meal that you can make. It's not too hard to have eggs in your uh kitchen and just kind of scoop it up flip it over I'm probably going to do that about four or five times before I'm done done make sure I get everything fully cooked because with eggs you want to make sure everything is of course fully cooked it's nice to have something that's on stick as well and it's amazing how fluffy you can get it just with, uh, you know, just with the egg itself, maybe with a little bit of uh, um, some spray, cooking spray. And it's almost about done. I'm going to show you something else that's, that's kind of a cool technique that I kind of go along with this if you don't want to do some major cooking. Um, basically, I have some, I have some lunch meat. And what I'll do is I'll kind of grill it. It's already fully cooked, but you can kind of throw it on the griddle to kind of give it a little bit more of a grill taste to it. So you can put a couple a couple ounces of it on there. Just a little bit for some flavor. And of course, if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, you probably wouldn't do that unless you're using something else. Okay, let me flip it again. Make sure everything is fully cooked. And I find that the, the smaller the pieces is, the, the faster it's able to cook. And really, within about five minutes or so, you can actually have a pretty, uh, pretty fast meal. Actually, you can kind of see how the my little chicken over here is doing. And again, that chicken's already cooked. It's just it's sandwich meat. It's kind of in chunks, and you know, you see that it's kind of grilled on that side now, a little bit there.
and it's almost about done by this point. So that's basically how you can make some scrambled eggs without putting milk or butter into it. Uh, this is probably going to be a little bit more healthier for you than if you have a bunch of extra stuff added to it. And it's a fast way to get some protein in you, and there's a lot of good benefits for eggs. And it's something easy to keep in the refrigerator, so you want a quick meal, uh, you can make it relatively pretty quick and whatnot. So, anyways, that's how you can uh, scramble eggs in a very efficient manner. As always, rock and roll, 2010. I can't wait to eat these. Yummy, 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 yummy. Go into my tummy. Okay, here it is, smoking off the plate there. See how it tastes. Mmm, tastes great. So, again, I hope you enjoy cooking with Herb. How to make scrambled eggs really efficiently without using anything else. And uh, just throwing a little bit of lunch meat into it. You get a little bit more of uh, some chicken along with it. So, rock and roll, 2012.